Hey everyone, I'm Armas here, welcome back to some more XCOM Enemy Within the Long War. So, I'm going to continue where I left off, we are now in October. We're about to finish Pulse Racer's research. But I need to get a few more things before that happens. So first of all, we'll need a satellite this month. For the alien base assault. If I want to do alien base assault this month. I also need more armor in general. That's kind of important. Not only because I need carapace armor for my regular missions. But also because I'll need more armor in general for the alien base. I can bring 12 soldiers, but that means I need to have enough equipment for them. So let's make some carapace armor then. Alright, that leaves us with how much? 216 credits. That's probably enough for one pulse weapon. But maybe we'll get some UFOs to shoot down and things like that. Scientists! For mutant corpses, yeah sure, we can use more scientists. We got the laser cannon for our interceptors in South America. That's just one, but that will have to be enough for now. And keep scanning. Research is done. And that unlocks all kinds of pulse weapons. So... Next up, I'm going to interrogate that floater. That will be helpful. Now, let's see how much is this going to cost us. Gatling Pulser, 215. What about the auto version? 210. But the damage range on these things is much better than the damage range on the laser versions. If I compare this one to auto laser, where's the auto laser? Should be somewhere down here. Or not? Yeah, where's the auto laser? Come on. There it is. So, 4 to 8 damage. And 8 to 11 on the auto laser. 0% chance to crit. On the other hand, on the pulse auto blaster, we got 6 to 10 base damage, 10 to 14 crit, and 10% base critical chance. These things are so much better, but they're also insanely expensive and take a very long time to make. 18 days just to make one pulse auto blaster. That's as long as it takes to make a satellite. And it's much longer than it takes to actually research these things. But we'll need them, so we'll make one. That leaves us with 6 credits. I need to do an intel scan for exalt cells. Oh, this is convenient. I don't necessarily want to get rid of alien alloys, but I need the money. So we'll do this. Now I can make the Gatling Pulser. Yeah, sure, let's do that then. I hate spending this much money. For a single weapon, but we'll need them. And we can do the scan. That's 50 credits. And we got Exalt Cell in Germany. Alright then. I think I need to steal a laser pistol from someone. So give me that. What's going to be our operative? Probably Arpit. Arpit or Holly. Yeah, sure. And laser pistol, off you go. We'll probably get some other mission before the Exalt mission, but we'll see about that. Six days. Yep, we got a Raider already. So let's send our best pilot to get more kills. It looks like he's going to land, but we can intercept it first. Shouldn't be hard to shoot it down, definitely not. We have quite a lot of damage right now. There we go, he's down. And we have a crash site. Nice. Rubber Bagels is available. Bella is available. I don't think I want to bring Marco to this one. I need to have a good squad for the Exalt mission. In fact, let's clear all of this real quick. Bagels is definitely coming. I might bring an engineer with an arc thrower. Holly? Does she have repair? I think so. No, she doesn't. Okay. What about Jeff? Is he still wounded? Yeah, he's wounded for two more hours. I could bring him to this mission if I wait two hours. There we go. I'm glad I checked that. Now I can bring Jeff with an arc thrower. So maybe try capturing some aliens. I still need to capture Sector if possible. So if I get a chance to do that, I will. Alright, Jeff with the arc thrower. I don't think I want to bring Bella to this mission. 
No, not really. Yeah, she's not close to a promotion. Who can we bring as an officer? I could bring either Bella and Sebastian and then use the other for the Exalt mission. They might not be fatigued anymore by the time we get that Exalt mission. Alright, let's bring Bella for extra experience. I can also bring Sebastian for extra experience because he has that officer promotion now. But let's bring Bella. We're going to need a gunner. Reynolds. We're also going to need a medic. That's Lois. And an assault. Other than Marco. Sarah has rapid fire. So she's coming. Two more slots. Maybe a rocketeer. Could hit warheads. Sure. One more person. That's the last slot now. Zhang. Ivan. Is Ivan close to promotion or something? Not really. But he's coming anyway. So make items available. And now they need proper gear. Phalanx armor. Heavy laser. And... Scope. I might give him alloy plating or chitin plating. I don't like 9 hit points. That's a little bit on the low side. Let's actually give him chitin plating. Alright, next up, a rocketeer, so laser rifle and scope, I seriously need more carapace armor, but that's why I'm making some. Okay, next up, our medic, phalanx armor, laser rifle, the rest looks fine, Reynolds, she has everything she needs already, how many hit points on Reynolds? Nine. But she can stay in the back with the Gatling laser. I don't like only 8 hit points on this guy. I might give him something, but he kind of needs the scope. Yeah, he will have to keep that then. Also, I'm going to replace the flamethrower with the kinetic strike module for this mission. I mostly plan to use the flamethrower for terror missions. And for missions that will generally have chrysalis. Jeff. Carapace armor. Because he will need the hit points if he will try to capture any aliens. Laser pistol. That's 11 hit points. Still not amazing, but it will have to do. I still got the Kestrel armor. I don't think I'm going to use it. Do we have something better than ceramic plating still? No, we don't. So keep ceramic plating. That's 10 hit points. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Are we ready? I think we're ready. I used all the scopes. Actually, I didn't. There's one more scope. I'm not sure if I want to use it. Yeah, I'd rather keep the grenade. Alloy plating, cam grenade. I am not actually going to use the last scope. Because I don't need it. I would use it on her instead of ceramic plating, but I don't like leaving her with 9 hit points only. And I do want to bring at least some flashbang grenades. That's my only flashbang grenade. Alright, I'll pass on that last scope in this case. So this is a crash site, but a medium UFO, not a small one. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. If I get a chance to capture a sectoid, I'll try. Can we get started yet? Which map is this? This doesn't tell me a whole lot, but okay. We're in the corner of the map, which is good. Let's go left, maybe. Yeah, I don't want to trigger multiple groups or anything like that. So we'll go this way. Oh, I know which map this is. Right, okay. This one isn't too bad. But there's a lot of potential high ground for the aliens. I don't like that too much. That's We're going left. We'll go through here. So, let's see. Ivan, Louise, Reynolds. Yes, sir. We can dash into cover. Like so. The one thing I'm missing here is now. a sniper, but that's okay. We'll be fine without a sniper. I guess we can afford to dash. Should be safe enough. 
Can I must the last words? We won't re reveal any fog with this mob. So it's fine. Lois. He can move here. And Ivan. Overwatch, just in case. I wonder if we'll get any new alien types this month. We might start seeing heavy floaters soon. At least that's kind of what I expect. I heard a mechtoid. Probably a mechtoid at least. Okay, let's keep moving. We are taking the long way around. But a safer way, especially on this map. We can move up the ramp right here, but not on this turn maybe. There's not a lot of cover up here. There is some cover. Okay, looks safe. Is this really cover? Doesn't look like cover to me, but okay, the game claims it's cover. Not sure if I want to take its word. Yeah, there's not a lot of cover up here. We need to be careful if we move up here. And... Right, we'll just move like this. But Reynolds should probably dash into position. So is this seriously cover? I'm not convinced. I don't see anything that would look like full cover. But the game claims it's cover. I just don't want to take game's word for it. Right, we'll go up there with everyone. If there are so many is down here, we'll have a nice high ground bonus. On my way. And if there are aliens up there, we won't give aliens high ground against us. That's affirmative. So it's a win-win. And Overwatch. I only heard the mechtoid so far. Hey, you hear anything? Yes, I hear anything. Yep, still the mechtoid. That might mean multiple mechtoids, I hope not. There's some meld. Not the way we're going, but that's fine. Apparently there are some aliens this way, so we're going this way. Like this. Still nothing. And what about the Reynolds? She'll just stay somewhere down here. This looks like a much more convincing full cover, I'm just saying. Alright, keep moving. Go, go, go. Don't slack behind. Jeff needs to be in the front. If we're going to try capturing any aliens. So, come on slacker, move it. Just dash into the front. There we go. Bagel should probably dash as well. Otherwise he will fall behind a little bit too much. The nice thing about Bagels is that I can use him as high cover element. If needed. So dash right here or something? No. Headed there now. Oh yeah, this is the assault. Okay. Doesn't really matter then. And last but not least, Lois. We'll just dash again. I'm not prioritizing meld, but it would still be nice to get it, which is why I'm moving fast. Well, I can still hear the mechtoid, but that's all I can hear. And some floaters. Okay, I heard some floaters. Still no aliens over here. I will check this area, though. Still nothing. Okay. Move like this? No, let's not move too much. Especially since that's Reynolds. Shouldn't have used Overwatch yet. I think the UFO is this way. To our right. So the aliens might be somewhere around there. I just wanted to catch any random patrols around here. If there were any. And we have nice high ground now. This is definitely better than moving through here. Safer. Bella. Moving. Keep using cover. No reason not to. Anyone else? Overwatch. Yeah, there is a group this way. I'm not crazy. Yeah, something is out there. And it probably isn't friendly. Oh. Okay, Mechtoid behind us. Interesting. So there was a Mechtoid patrolling around. And there are Sectoids. I think we just killed one. 
I could keep the other sector alive and try to capture it. But it's a little bit far away from us. Not sure if I want to bother. Well, before we do anything else, let's maybe get rid of that Mechtor. Reynolds can't see the Mechtor, which is sadly annoying. I don't think this will take your overwatch. No, it won't. I can throw a grenade. Jeff does have hit warheads. This should be decent-ish damage. Not amazing. It's just an alien grenade, but that's 7 damage. It's not terrible. We need to trigger the overwatch. That's the job for Bella. Where are you, Bella? There she is. Yeah, there's not a lot of cover from this direction. I don't like that too much. I might have to dash, or I can move like this first. But I have to destroy that Mechtoid. We'll get follow targeting up first. 100%, okay, nice. Shame we can't take a shot with Reynolds, but I do have hit warheads on my Rocketeer. Still, there's not a lot of cover around here. Are we close enough? Yes, we are. Let's move into cover first. And we'll use the rocket launcher. We might be able to destroy the drone at the same time. I don't want to kill the sectoid. I just want to do damage to the mechtoid. And possibly destroy the drone. So let's do it like this. This should be around 10 damage to the mech. 7 damage, alright. It's down to 10 hit points. Now I could use rapid fire and run and gun. To probably guarantee a kill, but I should stay behind cover. I will keep that sector alive, I think. This is the best chance to capture a sector, especially when I have multiple uses of the arc thrower. 100% god. 6 damage. Yeah, that mechtoid is going down for sure. Bagels can probably finish the job. Yep. Bye. Nice one. So, let's keep the sector alive. That's the only alien left around here now. Reload. Reynolds needs to move somewhere more useful. Let's see. She can keep an eye on this area. So, like this. This looks like a reasonable spot for her. In case we get some aliens attacking us from that direction. Right, now we need to move towards that sector. But that's mostly Jeff. He's the one with the arc thrower. Let's see. Lois can move into full cover down here. I assume there aren't any more groves in this area. So this is the best chance to capture a sector. It's super isolated. I don't expect to see any more alien groves around here. I would be very surprised if we got more aliens. It's not impossible, for sure. And the sector can do a lot of damage. I can probably afford... To use the arc thrower multiple times. If the first attempt fails. I do have some flashbang grenades. I think my assault has a flashbang grenade. Okay. Right, now we can use flashbang grenade and dash with Jeff. Yep, we do have a flashbang grenade. So we'll do it like that. I just need to be careful not to actually kill the sector. I'll probably use a pistol. Maybe even a regular pistol. Not a laser pistol. So, okay, let's move in with Ivan. He has a regular pistol. That definitely won't kill the sectoid. And Jeff. Come here, Jeff. I can just dash all the way. I don't even need to use cover. Just because he's disoriented doesn't mean it won't hit us, but a sectoid can't do this much damage. And I need to be as close as possible in case he tries to run away. That's definitely a possibility. Moving with Luis. Luis also has a regular pistol. And he also has a med kit. Or six. Which might be useful for us. If we get hit in the face. If the first capture attempt fails. I'll try one more time. Or maybe even two more times. I want that sector. This is the best chance that we'll get. And he has nowhere to run. This is the corner of the map. He can't run away. There's nothing. The map ends here. He's confused about life. 
Will he even do anything? Yep, he will try to shoot Jeff. But he has minus 50% chance to hit, so... Not failed. Alright, now... We're going to hit it in the face with the laser pistol. I mean, with the regular pistol. This should not be a kill, even if we get a crit. So, like this. Nice one. And now we can attempt a capture with Jeff. If this fails, I'll attempt another capture on the next turn. I can do it three times. So, fingers crossed. And we got it. Awesome. Very nice. That gives us access to one of the psionic powers. Once we interrogate the sector. I think that's mine, Frey. If I'm not mistaken. Either way, I needed a sectoid. And now I have it. Let's go finish the mission. And we still have two more uses of the Arc Thrower. I could try to capture more aliens. If I'll get a chance to do so. So... Move back, and we can reload. This is already a very successful mission. Unless someone dies later. Hopefully not. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Now we can get more aliens. I would be okay with that. Where's the UFO? Probably this way. I can hear some floaters. Let's go find them. Still nothing. What about the Reynolds? Yeah, she can move here. That's nice full cover. Looks safe enough. And keep moving. I'm just going to dash. It's fine. That's our assault. Yeah, I think this is the UFO right here. Looks that way. Yeah, let's not dash too close to it. Ivan, yeah, he can move over here. Go, go, go. The aliens won't wait. Actually, they kind of will. Run over here. Go, go, go. And Luis. Switch the weapon. So I don't use the pistol by mistake. That happened before. And I think that's it on our turn. No, not yet. Bella can still move. We can move down there, perhaps. Looks reasonable enough. I don't think we'll get any melt containers from this mission. That's rather unlikely. With the time it took us to capture that sectoid, but that's fine. I'm glad I got the sectoid. Oh, there's another group this way. Okay. Is the UFO this way, actually? We'll find out. Come here, beggars. Go check it out. No, I don't think the UFO is this way. That's just the patrol. Oh, that's the UFO right here? Yes, that's the UFO. Okay. So, position Reynolds up here. That looks reasonable enough. Or maybe like this instead. If there's a group on the left. And we still need to run. But now I'll run into cover. Because it looks like we might have a group very close. This is full cover again. And Bella. Where do we move Bella? Oh, she has low profile, right? Yep, she does. So we can move here. And that will count as full cover. There we go. I don't want to move too close to the UFO. Let's see, what can we use? Oh, this is cover, we can use that. We still got one more rocket launcher. That might be useful. And... Okay, run over here. This was actually slightly risky, but it's fine. And Ivan. Just run across. Over here. Yeah, I don't really want to leave him totally in the open. Or maybe like this. So, bring it on. And Overwatch. That group has to be very close. We should be close to the edge of the map now. Let's scout the area before we go check out the UFO. Okay, nothing yet. But they are definitely there. We can send Bella to investigate. Oh, there we go. We got... Is that the heavy floater? Yes, that's a heavy floater. That's the first heavy floater we got. Okay. We need to reposition slightly. Or a lot in this case. I'm glad that was Bella and not someone else. Because of the Overwatch. 
Heavy floaters are quite dangerous, especially in the long war. 95%. I like these odds. That's a kill. I'll keep Robo Bagels in the front. Hopefully they will focus on him and not on my other soldiers. That heavy floater is going to be very dangerous. I can hit the heavy floater. 60%. And I can do it twice. Four damage. And one more time. Reynolds has full cover. She should be fine. And awesome. Okay, that was pretty good damage. I could totally try to capture the heavy floater. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. I won't be taking any unnecessary risks to make that happen. But if we get a chance to do it, I'll do it. Lois, we can move a bit closer and hunker down. Okay, hunker down. What about our Rocketeer? He might be able to use the rocket launcher on the next turn. Let's move closer. The problem with heavy floaters is that they can throw grenades. I need to be careful about that. Our assault will stay back here for now. It's not safe to run in, definitely not. And Ivan can use Overwatch in the back in case they move towards us. Okay, we are spread out a little bit. Should be enough to avoid any nasty grenades. Okay. That was the jetpack. Oh yeah, that was the heavy floater. Okay. Now I could use running gun and probably kill that heavy floater with rapid fire, maybe. Oh, it's repairing. Alright. Reynolds. 60%. Let's try that. No double tap on this turn and we missed. Unfortunate. What about Ivan? He can probably try to shoot that floater from back here. Yep. 38%. A little bit low, but I wanted to do some damage before using the assault. Now I can guarantee a kill on that floater. I don't even have to use run and gun. Yeah, I don't have to use run and gun. I can do it like this. And that will be a kill easily. Bye. Nice one. He's dead. Now the floaters, regular ones. That shouldn't be a problem, definitely not. Nice damage. One more time. Yep, one more time. And that's a kill. One more floater left. This is an awesome mission so far, but now we know we'll get heavy floaters in missions regularly. Probably regularly. We really need to finish the pulse weapon soon. But that's why we're making them. 86%. Decent. Can we kill that floater on this turn? Maybe with a grenade? Yeah, possibly. I just don't want to leave Jeff in the open. I could use flash, but then he might end up moving away. Oh, we are actually flanking that floater now. Bye. Is there one more floater or did we kill everything now? I think we killed everything. But let's... Play it safe, use overwatch. Move like this, use overwatch again. Alright. There's probably at least one more regular group. That's what I expect. We'll take our time to reload. We are a little bit low on ammo. Just reload everything. Reynolds can move a little bit closer to the UFO. I expect more aliens to be in this general area. Jeff. We still got two more uses of the Arc Thrower. I'm not going to bother capturing outsiders anymore. I'll just focus on other alien types. I'm on the move. We can move closer while reloading. I'm ready. Reload. Bella. Okay, we can move closer. Still nothing. Back in. Yeah, this UFO is a little bit destroyed. <laughs> And our Rocketeer. Should be safe enough to dash like this. He doesn't really need to reload all that much. He's fine. Our Assault should reload, especially with rapid fire. I might start giving extra ammo to Assaults. Maybe. And Ivan. Really good mission for us so far. Let's not mess it up on the last group. 
I'm not even sure if there are any more groves. I don't hear anything patrolling anymore. But we might still have a stationary group other than the outsiders, obviously. Or we might just have the outsiders left. That's also a possibility. This apparently doesn't count as cover. We can move in like that. Alright. Should be safe enough to dash in now. Probably. If there were any aliens, we would have triggered them already with Bella. So just to make this a little bit faster. We'll run in. I'm still using cover. Because there's no reason not to. And I don't want to do anything stupid. In case there is a regular group. But automatic overwatch or something like that. Like that heavy floater. And Jeff. Yeah, just play it safe. And Luis. He has full ammo, so no need to reload. And Ivan. He has almost full ammo. Where he can go. He can go here. And Bagels can still move, I think. Can he? Well, no. Only if he dashes. Overwatch. Come on. Show your ugly faces. I know you're there. I think we only have the outsiders left now. But I don't want any nasty surprises. Oh, there we go. We have the outsiders. Okay, pretty much what I expected. Let's see. I need to reposition myself a little bit. Can we kill them? On the first turn? I can use running gun. That other outsider won't be able to reach me if I use running gun. At least... I don't see how he could possibly be able to do that. But I might use flash. Well, first we can take a shot with Reynolds. Then we have double tap. So that might actually be enough to get a kill. Come on. That was almost enough to get a kill. Alright. Now I can get a kill with Flash. There is a risk that, we'll, it, that it will get absorbed. But yeah, it got absorbed. Kind of annoying. Yeah, Flash is not super useful at this stage. But we can finish the job with our assault now. If I move in like this. Where exactly is that other outsider? He's in the other room, right? I'm not sure anymore. I need to move this guy out of the way. At least into decent cover, like so. So, okay, let's move in. And use laser pistol. What? Where the heck did that outsider go? Come on. That's a little bit annoying. I can't even see him anymore. Great. Well, we'll move in with bagels. Where exactly is that outsider? I hate not knowing where the alien is. I think I'll need to move out of there. I don't want to get killed. But at least I don't want to get critically wounded or something like that. Alright, well. We'll play it safe then. We need to reposition slightly. Into some kind of cover. I could just run and gun, but I don't know where the alien is. So that would be extremely risky. Let's move out of here. Alright. And Ivan can still move. This doesn't count as cover. Which is why I'm not moving there. Okay. So, bring it on. Show your ugly face. Okay, I don't like this one bit. Where the heck is he? He's not dead. Come on now. I still can't see him. What? Alright, let's run in. That other outsider should be in here. Oh, what? Okay. That looks a little bit unpleasant. Holy crap, that was a lot of seekers. Wow. That explains why I didn't hear any aliens. Bye. It's been nice knowing you. We need a lot of overwatch right now. I don't have any... Battle scanners? No, I don't. I could just use a rocket launcher right now. That's not the worst idea of all times, you know? I can use it blindly like this. 
So yeah, sure, let's do it. Nice one. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a lot of damage. That was value rocket right there. I can still use run and gun. Well, there's not much point doing it. So overwatch. The outsiders are still somewhere. And I have no idea where. They are definitely not dead, that's for sure. Right, we'll use overwatch. I don't think we killed all the seekers. No, there's at least one. Yep, there's at least one. <laughs> Repaired. Yes. I can use Shredder Rocket to hit it. Hey, that might work. And I never get to use Shredder Rockets. Yeah, boom. And he's down. Oh, what? I, I thought there was a cyber disc in there for a moment, but no, that's just a pattern on the floor. So, where the heck are the outsiders now? Come on. Just use Overwatch for one more thing. This is getting a little bit annoying. Oh, there we go. There's one. And he's actually flanking me, is he? No, he's not. Covering fire. Missed. No, he's not flanking me. I have partial cover from this direction. Sneaky bastard. He went all around the UFO to flank me. Alright. I'm almost impressed. Can bagels handle it? Well, not with one shot. But we can do some damage. 71%. Nice one. 10 damage. I think that was the max non-crit damage with this weapon. That we can possibly do. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, can we kill him? Our Rocketeer has pretty good aim. Let's see. Where do I move to be able to take a shot but not get flanked at the same time? I kind of can't. Ivan can shoot twice. That might work. That's 53% twice. Damn it. Come on. Nope. Didn't work. We have one more shot. Reynolds can't see the outsider, which is slightly annoying. We can use cover like this. And this should be decent chance to hit. 63%. And that was enough. Oh. So we did kill that one outsider earlier. The flash did not get absorbed by the damage reduction. I thought it did. It looked that way. Hey, I'm okay with this. No promotions. But we got a sectoid. We also got alien pistol. Which is actually useful. I don't think we had one before. No, we didn't. We only had alien carbines. Alerium, free meld. We got some junk to sell. Let's sell that right away. That's some decent money. Now, that's 176. That's enough for another pulse rifle. So, let's make one then. Okay. That leaves us with quite literally one credit. What about our research? Oh, we're about to finish interrogating the floater. And we got yet another raider. Okay, fine. No problem. Will we get yet another crash site? If we get another crash site, I won't have a lot of soldiers for that one. Because I need to keep a squad for the Exalt mission. No, no crash site this time. Okay. We finish the interrogation. That gives us aerospace technology credit. This will be very useful. And we can interrogate the sector. That will take three days. And we got that Exalt mission coming. In... Five. Okay, let's scan. Oh, we got abductions first. Alright. Swarming and 115 credits as a reward. Okay, I will be doing this in the next part. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you next time.